Come on Frontier, do something is the title of the video, or at least in the thumbnail. And we are getting a little look into some suspicious things happening right now. So for a couple of weeks, we've been waiting for any news. The Frontier Unlocked didn't really bring in what we were expecting in a way. And, you know, viewer accounts and stuff in the third iteration of it have already shown the interest is slightly going down there again. And so have stocks at least until last week. So big shout out to Delay Designer, my wonderful friend. She um, kind of dropped me a message on WhatsApp and telling me, hey, uh, look, they were going up. Uh, do they know something we don't? And I was very curious about this. And then I thought about something that we knew was happening. So in this video, we are going through a couple of things that some of which we already knew, some of which we didn't knew, or maybe we didn't put the puzzle pieces together. And I believe we are very, very close to some announcement at least. But okay, let, let's first of all structure a little, okay? So um, I first of all checked why this bump goes up. I mean, it's quite significant. I mean, have a look over here. You know, if you six, uh, sh look like into the last six months, or if you even go for a year, um, now let's let's go for a year. You can see the stocks were going all the way down, and of course there were sometimes just a couple of little things. For example, last October with a couple of DLC releases and stuff like that. But the overall trend was very negative, and then you know refocusing and stuff like that happened. And now this is the first rather significant and well, it turns out to be rather steady growth, as you can see over here. It, it just kind of slightly sh showed already the end of March, but now it starts to go up. And you know what's interesting? It is at the very beginning of the new fiscal year in the UK. More about that in a second. It's, it's becoming super important. And please follow me along because that's going to be uh, quite a good note that we are up to something over here. But anyways, I wanted to know a little bit more. And so I went onto, uh, onto the wonderful website of Google and just uh, typed in Frontier Dev Stocks. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a very, very good search term. But um, very quickly, I found this article, uh, Frontier Development shares up 16% on Atari sale news. And then I was like, hey, there's another thing I did talk to the lady designer about. And that is the actual, no, just just no, just don't, okay? Just block it, okay? Wow, what, what the heck? Um, <laughs> all these advertisings over here. Um, actually, a couple of days ago, um, to be precise, not that many, like three days ago, there was the announcement that Atari buys back the Royal Coaster Tycoon 3 publishing rights for seven million dollars. Uh, so, what, is, what does that mean? So, Basically, as you know, Atari held already um, the main license for the name Rollercoaster Tycoon. However, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, as it was developed solely by Frontier, um, they still earned the rights or ha held the rights to publish. And to be honest, Frontier did actually milk that cow quite nicely though. Um, they squeezed the citron out of, uh, you know, uh, every bit out of it um, with the release of the Deluxe Edition to Steam a couple years ago and I think there's also some mobile realization of it for like um, the Nintendo. And so like really they, they did you know, earn whatever they could with the brand. And now selling it for 7 million got me thinking that is, that is quite a decent price for a game. Um, that is very old indeed, uh, 2004, which means 20 years old, okay? Um, that is pretty, pretty dang old. And 7 million for a license, for a name. I mean, they solely get the license to republish this game, which, to be honest, they may earn a couple of euros with that fare, but there is like no bigger deal in going so. However, the interesting bit in here is that Frontier now completely freed themselves from any connection to Roller Coaster Tycoon. Why is this interesting? Well, obviously, we are looking into a Planet Coaster 2. And the only reason why you would let go on a franchise that actually defined your studio is because you're confident in a new franchise. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was already the kind of a... I would, like, many people would disagree, but in, in a way, it was a part two of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Even though Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 may actually be considered one of the best games ever, it was a add-on to one. It, it just had the same engine, it had the same functions, it, it was just like a blown up Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was the actual successor, the first 3D engine game, a very, very prominent game in that installation of Roller Coaster games. And 
letting go of this thing that defined Frontier in a way means they're moving on, okay? They're moving on with their brands, they're moving on with their focus, which, to be honest, is pretty great to see because this is one of the little puzzle pieces um, still in place because up until this point, we still can't say for sure that it's going to be Planet Coaster 2. But there's still a chance that this is going to be the new CMS game is going to be a brand new CMS game. By the way, because people moaned so much about this lately, not having any kind of evidence or anything, and this just may be guessing, let me just go back and show what I'm talking about, okay? So Frontier, actually, they said last year, with all the layoffs and stuff, which still were pretty crappy and um, the, the fact that they are hiring now again is also ridiculous more about that at the end of the video i want to keep that for last because it yeah well we have to talk about that anyhow frontier actually said that they will be refocusing on uh, creative management simulation games which we all know is Jurassic world evolution and planet coaster planet zoo the planet games now what i mean we already knew this and um we already knew that this will be in fiscal year 25, fiscal year 26, and fiscal year 27. However, this is only meant for the release of the game. This has nothing to do with anything else than, you know, that you could maybe uh, maybe see. Now, um, very interesting uh, is also that this spot over here is reconfirmed also by the way just telling you and this is what i meant before the fiscal year in the uk because that's different to some other parts of the world the fiscal year in uk starts from the 6th of april to the 5th of april in the following year so today actually is the day where the fiscal year 25 begins it's it's the perfect timing for this video, and it's also the perfect timing to actually know about the game. So um, we all thought, and they announced this in the very first Frontier Unlock. They said it's gonna be a new game in a way. There will be there will be talks about this new game. Well, they never talked about it other than you will be excited, which well, thanks I guess, <laughs> but nothing else. And just going back to their uh, report, just to give you another little quick look onto that, um, you can see down here, this is even in the official Frontier report in there, it's not just a screenshot from Reddit. So all these things put together back to our wonderful um, Frontier development charts. What does this tell us? Well. This does tell us that A, people reacted positively to selling the license of Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 rather than being ne negative to it, and B, that they may know something happening rather soon. So, as they are on the stock market and stuff like that, I'm not entirely sure how it is. In Germany, I know that they had to have to put out like ad hoc um, you know, development as a node. Not sure how that is in the UK. So if there's anything going on behind the scenes, if they have to make a note for that or not, I believe they don't, at least not in the certain way they do. So maybe stakeholders are already informed about, you know, upcoming releases, upcoming announcements. Who knows? And we also have to tie in the fact that they also will have another DLC for Planet Zoo, which is confirmed. They did confirm that on the first live stream, the Frontier Unlocked, the first one. So we know that there is a couple of things coming in the next month and they they kind of have to start now because building up a campaign for a new game will fill in the coming month and if we remember when the last games have been announced and uh, let me just quickly check that live on my phone because the announcement um of planet zoo i believe uh was also around april uh let me see if i can find that real quick Planet announcement, Planet Zoo 2019. I I'm just not sure when exactly that was. Um, yeah, that was the 24th of April. 24th of April 2019. They did announce the upcoming Planet Zoo. So, meaning, if we go by that, this would be in less than two weeks. Um, which is actually pretty... Or actually, it's going to be in about two weeks, not less than but whatever uh you know we we are not even up to something it is more or less like confirmed that this is going to be a very spicy next week so i am very very interested to what's coming next and um let me know in the comments down below how much you are looking forward to that because i am 
really, I'm sitting here every single day looking into my emails if I get any news about early access or whatnot. Uh, if I get any news about anything, I don't have anything, okay, before anyone has any idea because I'm accused of having access already to certain things. I don't. Uh, trust me, I don't. Um, so, wow, oh man, I'm so much looking forward to that. I am craving a new Planet game so badly. It's been a while since the last one. 2019 is now also some very good five years ago. And um, remember that between 2016 and 2019 was only three years in between. Now we've had five years in between. And um, Planet Zoo held up very nicely. And also the Planet uh, Zoo console release is another sign that things are changing. But we already knew that, so let's not go down too much. I promised to quickly talk about the layoffs, and um, this is kind of hilarious and very shabby at the same time. But if you go to the Frontier website and go to career, you'll find that they are looking for new people, especially community managers. Which is... Um, you, you somehow can explain that um, in, for example, in the fact that Holly did leave them, which I guess was not due to the uh, layoffs, I assume at least, because Holly was still there with the Frontier Unlock and so on. Um, so I, I do believe that this was more like a personal preference to move on, which um, always is, you know, I always respect that with people and wish them all the best if they have the chance to do that upon themselves is very great. But obviously, if it, it just comes with a insane amount of salt um, when they just have laid out people uh, laid off people like less than six months ago and now looking for new people which is it really feels like a super short term short term vision and um, I, I just want to take out the positive for this video which I know is just very objective and, and not super emotional but the fact that they're looking for someone again is another hint towards the fact that they won't be able to um, you know, d deliver on what they are ha having to do with the new game maybe in the future. So, uh, yeah, we are we are keeping our eye on there. Um, it's <laughs> not the easiest, I guess, to to claim that position at this point. But hey, uh, I'm I'm not here to judge that. I you know I gave you my opinion on that, and everyone else should uh, you know judge that themselves. However, this was it from my little overview video of the current situation of Frontier Development and their upcoming game information, release, news, whatever you want to call that. But uh, at least I am very, very much hoping that the next, let's say, four to six weeks will be action-packed and very interesting when it comes to our genre, the creative simulation management game genre, especially when it comes to announcing a new game and a DLC. Uh, you know, I'm here to cover it and uh, I am absolutely here for it. So let's get this started and come on Frontier.